The house is very quiet right now, which I don't like. See, back in 2015, if you would have asked me what my ideal day was, I probably would have told you just being home by myself in front of the computer or in front of the TV and just kind of be in my own space with my own quiet time. Now ask me that same question here in 2018, my ideal day is spending the entire day with my wife having no quiet moments. I mean, there can be quiet moments, but for the most part, having conversation and dialogue going and just kind of sharing our different thoughts throughout the day. And that is a big contrast to 2015 because now I finally believe that I am beginning to comprehend fellowship. I'm finally comprehending the importance of relationship, dialogue, and vulnerability. This is something I didn't understand back in 2015, and I wish I did because that would have saved me from a lot of hardship. And I'm not saying if you have conversations with people and you're vulnerable with everyone, everything's gonna be easy. In some cases it may be harder, but it's much more encouraging and much more life bringing and freeing being able to share different aspects of your life and share conversations with people, uh, even the hard conversations. It's so much better to share it than to just bottle it up inside because eventually it's gonna explode. Let me tell you, I've had explosions in the past and it's because I used to not talk with people and not just not talk, but not talk openly and honestly and vulnerably, more vulnerable, with, with vulnerability. And that was a big change for me when I got married, even before that when I got engaged and even before that when I started dating Hillary was vulnerability began to become a normal part of who I was. I am not great at vulnerability still. I'm better than I was in 2015 and I, I feel like I'm getting better at being vulnerable because I've seen the fruit that comes from being vulnerable with others and the joy and the life and the happiness and the peace and the ease that come with being vulnerable. Uh, but it's not the easiest thing for me. Sure, it's not the easiest thing for me, but that being said, it's something I desire. It's something I yearn for. It's, it's, it's come from a place of desiring the simplest thing, which is a conversation with someone. I'm now at the point in my life where I realize it is much better to be around other people and be in conversation with people. 2018 steel is a completely different steel than 2015 in the fact that I now enjoy conversation. I now enjoy having people around and I don't really like to spend too much of my time alone. That's like a radical change for me. That's something I never thought would happen. I guess when, when I was, how old was I in 2015? 18 years old, I thought, yeah, like I'll just stick to my own thoughts, I'll, I'll stick to myself, like I'm independent, I can do this, I can do that, blah, 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 watching my world crumble around me and transformed into this 21 year old who now needs conversation every day or else he's gonna go crazy. Where a lot of this has stemmed from for me is especially in marriage, just constantly having accountability with someone day after day after day. Constantly being in communication and dialogue day after day after day has been just so life bringing. It's, it's something I wake up and look forward to as opposed to when I was 18 and would wake up and would look forward just to the next YouTube video or the next Call of Duty match or the next book I was gonna read. And I don't think there's anything bad with all those things. I'm just saying for me personally now, communication with others, fellowship with others, relationship with others, especially my wife, has really taken hold of my heart in a way that has changed my desires. And that's what's cool. That's what's so cool about documenting the past however many years I've been filming stuff is you get to see that change. I get to go back and see 15, 16, 17, 18 year old Steele who would just sit by himself all the time and hang out with his friends eventually but never have real heart to heart conversations with them, just kind of surface stuff. And now, now I can sit and have heart to heart conversations and think back on those previous conversations or that previous lifestyle I was living and just be so overwhelmed with joy. There's something really, really sweet about friendship. There's something really, really sweet about vulnerability. There's something really tough about vulnerability, but there's something so sweet about it too. I once was a kid who wanted nothing to do with other people, and now I'm an adult who wants everything to do 
with all people. I've been by myself in the apartment for like three hours now, just constantly editing a video for my church, and I'm, I'm like losing my mind a little bit just because I need conversation, which is so different than who I was just a few years ago. Change is good. People are good. Fellowship is good. Relationship is good. Conversation is good. Vulnerability is good. See, every day I do get alone time. I spend time in the Word by myself, reading, praying, just meditating on scripture. That's what I do, that's who I am. But it's not the entire day. When I'm not by myself in scripture, I have this like burning need to be with Hillary, especially, and then nextly, just church community. I'm like a totally different person. Like just sitting here talking about it, I'm just totally different than who I was just a few years ago. And it's, the most exciting thing to me. This channel is going to be taking a change for the better. It's going to be a complete change in audience. It's going to be a complete change in content. It's going to be a complete change in production. It's going to be different this year. YouTube's going to be different this year. The videos I'm going to be producing this year are not going to be videos that get tons of views. I already don't get very many views, but it'll probably get less. But the videos are gonna be much more important. The videos are gonna be much deeper, much richer. They're gonna be much more real. 2018 is gonna be the year where I'm bold.